Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? It's your boy, NJ Cheese. And this is a big day. This is huge. Um, Ghost of Tsushima 2. We're going to watch this, react to it. I'll probably save all my thoughts and opinions for the end. Never before seen. I seen it came out, and I didn't even watch it. I wanted to wait and watch it with you guys. So let's get into it. Unfortunately, I didn't play the first one. I keep trying to get to it, and then I ended up playing like Assassin's Creed, Origins, um, Horizon 2, Horizon 1, uh, The Witcher 3 I'm playing right now, Tekken came out, and now I'm on this big, huge, like, chess, um, chess wave right now, and, and so I just haven't, uh, I just didn't have time to get to it, okay, but I will make time before this one comes out, so let's get to it. Big shout out PlayStation in the building, you already know. Bro, you know it's gonna look amazing. Come on. We are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. I'm not even gonna try to say the name. But you. Well, you definitely ain't the hunter. I think I can tell from the build. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. The first one was a male character. Um, we live in the world of wokeness. So we have to replace the male character with the female. We have to. That's the way. Is that the way? It's 2024. That's the way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get into it. If you guys don't know, I've been working on a solo podcast called Crossing the Line. I've been working on a, another podcast I have with my girlfriend called Casey Talks. But here today, we might actually start with Crossing the Line. Uh, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. Why do the world feel like we always have to like play with female characters? I think... The problem isn't playing with female characters because Aloy from Horizon, we have no problem. She's amazing. She's cool. And she's a lesbian and we don't care. 
because it doesn't feel forced. But when you have a character that's like everybody rocked with, everybody was beloved character, a beloved character, and then you take them out, yoink, and then you input a female character, it puts a bad taste in people's mouth. And nobody's going to say it. Nobody's going to say it. I guarantee you can watch a million reactions. And they go, oh, it don't matter. It's a girl. We know the gameplay is probably going to take a hit. But the fact is we don't want to. We just don't want to. We don't want to. If I got to be the guy to say that, then I'm sorry. You know what I mean? We don't want to. The wokeness is getting so old. And I'm not saying, like I said, it's about feeling forced. You had a perfect game with the male character. You make a part two. People want to still play with that character. People still want to, to, to be in that story and, and hear his story and play the story. But you just you just you just snatch, you just snatched him away. You just snatched him away. How about give him three games, conclude his story, and then introduce, and it wouldn't be a problem. But no, 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 no. What we got to do here in 2024, we got to shove the wokeness. Pause. Big giant pause. Got to shove the wokeness down your throat. You know what I'm saying? They, they have to. They have to. You know what I mean? I mean, she can probably get it done, but really. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. And I'm just, I'm just leave it there. I'm going to just leave it there. Does the game look beautiful? Yes. Um, they threw in a wolf. This is how you know they be on nonsense. They gave her a wolf to try to soften the blow that we was going to be playing with a female character. Um, I think we need some balance here. I think we need to figure it out. Um, but this isn't just female characters when it comes to race, when it comes to anything. People just want it to make sense, right? Assassin's Creed. You get to play with a guy and the girl. But they make the game more optimized for the female. She has more tools at her uh, disposal. But then you got, okay, let's just be honest. Is it really a big deal? But it does make sense. They got a big black guy in Japan. When you're in Japan, you want to play with Japanese people. If you're in South, if you're in South Africa, you want to play with South Africans. I guarantee if it was a game in South Africa and you playing as some little like Blonde head white guy. It, it's probably gonna be a problem. If I if they have a game based in Hawaii, I want to play as one of them Samoan motherfuckers, one of them rock looking motherfuckers. I don't wanna that's the problem. If it doesn't make sense, people don't want it. It's just everything is forced. You know what I'm saying? If you in if you're in the fucking UK, you wanna play or, or whatever, you wanna play one of them guys. But uh Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And like I said, if I got to be the bad guy, hey, man, fuck it. You know what I mean? Somebody got to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because what are we left with? We unplugged from the Matrix, and this is crossing the line. We don't try to cross the line on purpose, but if we need to, we will. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? So thank you, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Social media links down below. And I will catch you on the next one. It's your boy Cheese. Peace. Cheese.